Welcome back to Hobby Jogger Elite and welcome to the Marathon Build, the series where I am covering my lead up to a November 12th marathon coming up here in not so long. It feels like I have been in the thick of marathon training for months at this point, which probably feels that way because I have been, but it simultaneously sort of feels like time has absolutely flown by and sort of looking back through my training, there's been so many different experiences through all these workouts back in July where it was 75 degree, 100% humidity mornings with my long runs where I was trying to wake up as early as possible to beat the heat, unsuccessfully doing so because you just could not escape it all the way up until now where things are finally starting to cool down, but the sort of light at the end of the tunnel, which is the race here in six weeks from the end of this very week we'll be talking about. It's it's pretty wild. It has been one of the longer marathon training blocks. This is my fourth time racing the marathon. My first go of it, I did 20 full weeks. I look back at my training calendar from early 2021 and I started training for a May 23rd marathon the second week of January. Wild to think about that I put in 20 weeks of training for that first one. The second one I put in, I think it was 14 or 15 weeks of training. My third marathon, which was last November, which is my current PR in the marathon of 306.06. I only put in 11 weeks of training. I signed up for the marathon pretty late in the year and uh, ramped things up pretty quickly. Definitely felt my fitness grow faster than ever during my shortest training block for a marathon, but I also didn't feel like it was quite enough in terms of, of preparation when it came to the amount of weeks. And then this year, back to that long 18 week training block. It's been really fun, really fulfilling, but a lot of hard work as I am running more than I ever have before. That taper, I can smell it. It is in the near distance. I have a couple more pretty beefy workouts through these next few weeks before I start to cut down the mileage a little bit in what will be here, you know, around a month from this time. So here we are, another solid week of training coming off of a pretty disappointing week overall in terms of my tune-up race being canceled due to hurricane, but things have been going smoothly, so I can't complain too much. I started off the week with a 13 mile, one hour, 35 minute long, steady run out on the trails. Felt great doing that. And uh, yeah, that's just kind of become a staple of my Mondays. Definitely feel more confident when the body is feeling good doing that sort of like half session, those steady runs I wouldn't really consider a full session. Sort of, again, like kind of a session, but kind of not a session. So depending on how I feel at the beginning of the week coming off the long run on the previous weekend, I'll throw in that steady run on Monday. Maybe I won't, but this week I did. Average overall pace of 7.18, got down to right at like seven flat pace, sub seven pace, like 6.56 a mile, and then took it easy the rest of the way. Then on Tuesday, another nice 5 a.m. run, eight miles in the books. And that was all I did for that day. Kept it nice and easy early in the morning. I always feel, you know, the most stiff, the most garbagey at those 5 a.m. wake up times, like just sort of not giving myself a ton of time to really warm up, just getting out the door, putting one foot in front of the other. They're, they're peaceful runs, you know, done in the dark. It's very quiet. No one else is really awake in the neighborhood yet. The roads are relatively clear, but Man, it can be hard to, to get out the door on those days. Followed that up on Wednesday with the featured workout of the week, which you will see here in a little bit during the second half of this video. Two miles of warm up, eight miles at a marathon effort, followed by two miles at a threshold effort. So, really maintaining that marathon effort for the bulk of that workout, then kind of cutting down towards the threshold effort at the very end of that to try to run a little bit quicker on definitely some tired out legs. So a total of 10 miles of quality work at pace there. I think it went pretty pretty well, all things considered. And again, you'll see the footage here soon of that workout cooled down a mile for just over 13 miles on the day. So a solid midweek workout for that. The next day did a treadmill run, eight miles at another just 807 easy sort of recovery pace 
kept things nice and easy. Went then and doubled for just under four miles that afternoon on which I felt way better on the double, which has been a theme recently. Definitely finding myself, you know, as long as I'm staying kind of up and keeping the blood flow going, not letting myself get too lethargic or lazy throughout the day or like sitting at my desk for too long at the office, making sure I'm like regularly kind of moving, not being too sedentary. Double runs can often feel even better than the ones in the morning. Then Friday, got a nice brief 49 minute run in just over six miles and then made sure again that that was a nice easy effort because I had a long run the next day back to the 20 milers after an 18 miler last week on the treadmills and did a nice long out and back on the trails and this was just a prescribed long steady run so the specific Daniels running formula two quality session plan that I'm following for this week. Just had that midweek workout and then a long run of 20 miles at a steady effort. So that is what I did just over 20 miles, just above seven flat pace at an average pace of 708. Sort of worked easy into this one before sort of cutting down towards sub seven pace for quite a bit of the middle portion of this run. So I was just kind of hovering around anywhere from like high 640s to mid 650s for the majority of that run, giving it a nice steady effort, not really pushing myself too hard, just making sure that it wasn't an easy effort, but it wasn't really a full at pace workout effort, just a nice sort of rhythm based run. And yeah, felt good for all of that total of two hours and 25 minutes. And I definitely want to get used to running on some flatter terrain on this trail when you run out it is a like net downhill so it's like slightly 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 downhill on the way out and then slightly uphill on the way back but overall obviously in totality it is pretty flat and that definitely does something different to your muscles and your legs than just running on like rolling hills or hilly terrain does because you know having that change in grade sort of works different muscles and allows certain muscles to sort of take breaks on downhills, other ones to take breaks on uphills. The impact is sort of different as you are sort of running through that undulating terrain. Whereas on the flats, you're sort of like working the same muscles the whole entire time and you definitely feel it in a different way. And it's just cause like a race is flat or a running route is flat doesn't always necessarily mean that it is easier. So I'm trying to get used to that because my marathon is gonna be pretty flat for the most part. Just wanna get used to running on the flats for a long time, which I haven't necessarily done a ton of specific like course profile training in the past before. So that's something I've tried to make a point of when it comes to this training block and then finished off the week with a nine mile hour and 12 minute easy run, round eight flat pace. And that was the week in total. So wrapped it up with 82 and a half miles of work, 10 hours, 17 minutes, and just over 1600 feet of elevation gain. So back in the 80s for weekly miles, hopefully everything feels good. The main priority for the rest of this training block is to run smart, run healthy, be super intentional and diligent about you know strength, conditioning, mobility, core, just make sure everything is being supported and supplemented in the right ways so that by the time the taper comes around, we are as healthy as possible, trying to get as fresh as possible for this marathon and things seem to be in a good spot right now. So I look forward to heading into next week. And uh, yeah, other than that, enjoy the featured workout for this week's episode of the Marathon Build. All right, good morning, everybody. Nice and early here. We have pretty beefy workout today. It's not too complicated, which I always appreciate. Sometimes some of these Daniels running formula workouts can be like trying to do trigonometry in your head. But for the most part, I found them all very palatable, tough, but doable. So today is no different than that. It is a two mile easy warm up, followed by eight miles at marathon effort, followed by three miles at a threshold effort, followed by two miles easy. So total of 15 miles of volume, 
11 miles of quality, eight of them at marathon pace, three of them threshold. So pretty big, hoping to feel good today. If uh, anything doesn't feel quite right, or if the Achilles is bothering me, then probably cut it short, adapt it a little bit. Still try to get some work in, but yeah, big workout Wednesday and we are pushing on. Two mile warm up is done. We're now moving into the eight mile section of marathon effort. So gonna really just listen to the body here, work into this effort, not force a single thing. Try to run as relaxed as possible. Make it comfortable, you know? That's the goal with this, so yeah, we'll see. See how this goes. Nearly three miles into the marathon section. Feeling nice, smooth, and controlled. No issues yet. Try to keep that way. Eight miles marathon effort done. Speed it up a touch here. 12 miles total. Two mile easy, eight mile marathon effort. Two mile threshold effort. I'm cutting it at the two miles of threshold effort. I'm not gonna do the extra third one because aerobically felt fine, but felt my form starting to sort of break down after the first threshold mile and coming off a potential injury scare or just, you know, whatever levels of soreness I've been sensing. Feels like a pretty stupid thing to push it when the form starts to collapse a little bit. And for me today, the real sort of tester, the real confidence checker was that marathon pace section, which I felt comfortable, no discomfort, any part of the leg form held up really well. Yeah, starting to do some of these workouts in non-carbon plated super shoes. Granted, I did do these in a brand new pair of Endorphin Speed 3s, which got the job done. But again, trying to take that sort of stiff carbon plated pressure that those shoes apply on everything in your lower leg away so that, you know, things can just get a little bit better while we still put some work in. So overall still a really, really good workout. Am at 12 miles on the day. So gonna cool down. That'll be that for the workout. Pretty proud of that one and uh, hoping to take some, some good healthy feelings into the rest of the week. So